Here we have a photo of a background, and I'm actually going to use this as our mask and drop some video over the top of it. The problem with this is we don't want the video frame to be seen, and we don't want the area around the object to be seen. We want to make it look seamless. We're going to drop a dancing girl in here, and we'd like her to dance as if she's part of this scene here. So in order to do that, we're going to use what's called alpha channels. And don't worry about the name sounding difficult. Basically, all it is is creating a transparent background. And we do this by shooting against a green screen. First of all, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to do this, how to drop the image on here and get this video working without the background. And then I'll show you how to do the green screening. So let's open up our library palette. And inside the panel there, you see all we have right now is just our one bitmap image. Let's select our second layer. And we're going to drop a video component on here. And we'll just scroll down here until we get an FLV playback component inside the component panel. And we'll just drop this here right onto the stage. We'll just drag it in. And we'll position it about there. Now, there's one little problem with this. You'll see that we've got this skin here. We don't really want this to display. So let's go under the parameters. And we'll just drag this parameters up a little bit so we can see. And the thing we need to find is the skin. Let's just select this. And now we have our skin selector, and we're just going to go to the very top of the list and select none. Click OK. Great. Now we've got rid of the skin, so we're just going to have the video playing. Now we need to import a video. So let's find the video that we want to use. We're going to choose the source, and then we're just going to click on the source, and now we can navigate to our video. And we're going to use this one here. It's called Dance Short, and it's inside the green screen folder. And we'll click Open. And now we click OK. Now it's resized to the size of our video. Let's just hide the timeline for now, because we don't really need it anymore. The problem is you can't really see what's going on for positioning. Well, one of the things that they've done inside of Flash CS3, and this only works actually if you have the document set up here as an ActionScript 3 document, because now it'll choose the ActionScript 3 components versus the ActionScript 2 components. Let's have a look. We've got some options here, and we can choose the, it says here, Preview. Let's click on the Preview and look at this. We've got the Preview there, and at any point we can pause this. We can scrub through the Preview. So basically what we want to do is we just want to find a point in time. Here we are at two seconds, and if we click OK, now it will preview our Dancing Girl right there on the stage. Now don't worry about this white being visible, because this won't actually be visible in the end result. So let's test this. And there we go. We have our background and we have our dancing girl dancing over the top of it. And if you wanted to make things a little bit smoother, we could increase the frame rate just by going under here. And it's 30 frames per second is actually pretty good. So that'll work. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get this video like this because you've noticed we've got the video. And there's no background. So you need to use another program, such as Adobe After Effects or Premiere. And let's import our video. So we're just going to choose Import File. And then we need to find our file here. Let's go to our desktop. And I'm just going to find my folder really quick here. Inside Section 3, under Green Screen, you'll see we're not trying to import the FLV, we're trying to import the QuickTime file there. So there's a QuickTime file, and we're just going to click Open, and it drops the QuickTime file there, and we can just drag this down. And then just by dragging it down, it just creates a new comp, or a new composition, and then it shows our video inside our viewer here. So here's our video, and notice that I shot this video against the green screen. And you can do this if uh, on a low budget just by simply painting a wall, bright green or in this case I had some green muslin and it's not that expensive and you can set that up the important thing is though when you're lighting is to make sure that you evenly light the green screen behind the person so behind here I've lit this green screen there's one light to the right another light to the left then if you can try and get a light behind the subject pointing forward now give some good separation in the light there and also use your front lights to light the subject. So here we go, we've got this little green screen that we've done, and this this was really just shot on a budget. 
and it can be done very very easily and if you don't have any lights you can actually rent them from a local camera store or video store and they're not that expensive about 10 bucks each so here's our video what we need to do is we need to extract the green from the subject and this can easily be done by using the filters let's just find our filters here as we're moving to the effect menu here we go and then you'll see keying and under keying you'll see key light and key lights a plugin that comes with After Effects it actually comes with the uh, professional version of After Effects in uh, the last version and also CS3 so here we go we have it and we're just going to go in here and basically I'm just going to show you the quick way of doing this there's different ways you can actually mask this out you can use other programs and you can use other plugins but simply we're going to grab this and we're going to choose the screen color and we just click and that more or less just grabs our screen and separates it from the background then we can mess around with the gray, the gain here just increase that till we get it and then we could just preview the video just by going through the different stages here and more or less what we're doing is we're getting rid of the background now you could play around with this and refine it to try and get it perfect but in this case this is good enough and what we'll do is we'll just file and we're going to choose export and we want to export it to a flash video so we want to go to flash video FLV and as turns out we could use the render queue which we'll do later but in this case this would work for us and what we need to do is when we choose video the important thing that we do no matter what settings we use we want to use on to vp6 and we want to encode the alpha channel if we don't encode the alpha channel then we won't get the separation of the background and background will still be there inside the video so this will knock it out because it's actually created and then we would just choose whatever quality we want we would set our sizes we'd set our other options that we've looked at in another clip you can see how we go through those options and we click OK and then we would hit save and then we would start rendering it out and here we've already done it we've saved it out as the flash video file so we'll just cancel now and we can get out of After Effects and we're not going to change save those changes so basically here it is once we've rendered it out with the alpha channel and then we've brought it into flash and then we'll test it one more time and that's how you create green screen video inside of Flash.